Hey, what's up, y'all? So this is me with Lawn Masters, Frank with Lawn Masters. So I'm gonna be showing y'all my spring assist, spring assist system for my trailer gate, which is really heavy. It's like 275 pounds. Um, I didn't know it was gonna be that heavy. Uh, I did another video on this gate and this trailer, kind of showing, you know, the story behind it, what happened. Um, had to redo some things and yeah. So that's on another video. I'll probably link that in the description or maybe right up here. We're over here, wherever I decide. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of walk y'all through what I did slash doing. And uh, that's on my spring assist system. So the other gate was wearing out. And like I said, you'll find that in another video. It was, I just need a new gate. So this gate was ridiculously heavy as I mentioned before. So I had to do something. There's a tons of different options. I'm not saying mine's the best. Tell me what y'all think, what y'all would've did. Uh, I've seen some guys out there come up with some super cool ideas. I will tell you this, I did use springs. I'm gonna walk you through kind of what I did. And this system I kind of mimicked kind of, I mean, a lot of guys use the springs, but mine's a little different. I also saw someone else do it. Um, I just put my own little touch to it. Nothing super simple. It's 90% of another one, another idea. But um, here, I'll walk you through it. All right, so right here, I'll go ahead and start off with the beginning. So you see that green tube over there, it was black, and uh, I painted it black, and then I painted it green. So that's a fence post. <laughs> it doesn't look it right. It is a fence post. It's heavier duty. It's not real thick. It's kind of a thin wall. I didn't want heavy because it's just serving that purpose. And the reason why I did that is because one of my friends told me one time, he said, Frank, what are you going to do if one of these garage door springs break? So me, being uneducated and just not knowing, I said, what do you mean it's gonna break? He said, dude, you know these have a lifespan? And I'm like, uh, I did not know. He said, yeah, they're only ready for so many opening and closing. And you gotta remember a garage door don't open and close that much. And I said, oh, didn't know that. So when's it gonna break? I don't know. I have zero idea. But he said, you need to protect yourself when you do that. I said, well, how do I do that? He said, well, you can possibly take some cable and I said, dude, I think I've seen something like that. He said, yeah, it's quite a few people know about it. So basically what's going on is you're probably wondering also, let me, let me go ahead and state this first. You're probably wondering, cause it's probably driving you nuts. If you're like me, you're like, why in the heck is this one shorter than that one? You know, if I got one of these here and one of there, the way the system was, I looked up online, it was over here. And then, oh, look, a puppy. What do you say, pups? What do you say? <laughs> no, it's the paper bag. So yeah, cute pup. Um, <clears throat> so what happened is my neighbor, he's like, why don't you just take a shorter piece instead of running a longer piece right here? That freaking long taking up all that trailer space. So I was like, okay, uh, how are we going to do that? Well, long story short, the cable system comes like way up in here. Somewhere in there, I don't know, over here. So he's like, duh, I can do that. So I tried it, I tested it. I just put this up here and I ran this like this. And I said, well, there's my green post. It's gonna sit, I'm, I gotta get some more brackets. It's gonna sit about like that. It's not gonna go right up to that. It's gonna kind of offset a little bit like that. And then it's gonna come out just like this pipe. I'm gonna have my cable, there's my cable. It's on the ground. It's a mess around here, like I say. Uh, I got so many projects going at once. And it's gonna go through, just like this. And you say, well, what is this little contraption you have here? Great question. So you can pretty much make this yourself if you got a welder, and it's just a T, I mean a L, kind of like an offset T. If it was a true T, it'd be here, duh. So, drill some holes. And you say, well, how do you do all that? Well, first thing you do is, if I was you, I'd, I'd drill your holes first and then you weld. But you get you some rollers. Where are they at? Right here. You can get these for probably 10, 15 bucks. And um, make sure they fit your bolt size. You know, just go in the parts store and take you some bolts. I think these are 5 sixteenths or something like that. Can't remember 100%. But yeah, take that. And uh, yeah, I installed that. And let me see something here. Okay, so I had to look at my camera, my battery. Um, you get the point. Lock them down, some lock nuts, and uh, then run it up and hook them right 
here. I have an eye bolt. What did I do with it? Um, that's so irritating when you're trying to show something and it just irritates me, but whatever. I'm not gonna look for it for too long. I don't wanna waste y'all's time, but here it is. So what I ran into here was I ran all the way and guess what? You gotta have a long freaking bolt all the way across. Yeah, I hope you can see it from the sign. Anyway, so guess what I did? I said, dude, there's gotta be, and you don't wanna get, like my first thought was a lot of washers. Just get a lot of washers. Well, there's a piece of barrel you can buy some sleeve channel well this right here will fit clean over that uh um, that piece or that uh, that eye bolt or whatever eye screw well you just measure it and that's what i'm going to do i haven't done it yet take your angle grinder cut off what you need and there you go what that yeah tighten it up so that's how you do that. Um, yeah, I bought these at the store too at Lowe's. I think this whole thing cost me 140 bucks. Everything cost 140 bucks for both sides. Um, I'm also painting this. Like I say, it's not what a crappy can of paint. I ain't even gonna get into that. But anyway, so I bought these little um, adapters. They go around the pipe. I know they wasn't. They, these adapters aren't the right size for this pipe. But I said, well, if it's flexible, we'll make it work. And as you can tell, they do. So what's going on inside the pipe? Kind of what I was showing you there. Um, this one's completely done. It's mounted. It's hooked. If it ever breaks, here's the cool thing. If this case, if that spring ever breaks, well, guess what? The first thing it's going to do is go this way, right? It's going to shoot from here and either go up. I'm sorry, the spring. It's going to catch here. It's going to catch in there. One of the two. I don't see this breaking, honestly. I'm not an engineer. I don't know, but you see how the the rollers are. I can't let I can let the gate down, but it's heavy. It's much easier with um, with both of them working at the same time. You say, "Well, how'd you do that?" Well, I can lower this. I can. I'm not going to, but I hooked it up temporarily with the spring because I wanted to see just to see. I'm like. Well, will this work temporarily? Let's just even see. Because I was wondering, my thought was, is this spring even going to help do anything? Because if one spring's only rated at, what, 140 pounds? And these are 140 pounds. I'm like, hmm, the same 140 pounds. Wrong. Because I was struggling with it. I'm like, 140 is 140, but that's 140 each side. So what, 28, 14, 14? So yeah, and the gate is, what, I said like 275, 280. And... So yeah, it's yeah. There's some weight there. I can't just pick it one finger. I can't do that. I can do it one-handed though. So um, just kind of wanted to show you that, share that with y'all on this gate. It's a beast. I built it way too heavy. Um, right here, see the little latch. That's in my other video. I'll talk about. I'll tell you. You can go watch that video and they tell you all about. There's a story behind that, and it's probably. I don't know. I'm bittersweet about it because, but you know, you get what you pay for. So go check that out. Go check that out in the other video. Um, I got to put that box on. That box is right here. Well, I don't know if I'm putting it on front or my trimmer racks are going to go over there. And uh, yeah, whole another deal. But yeah, that's that's what this is, man. Um, that's all it is. It's just really, it's kind of, I hope I can get the camera right. If something was to break, you know, you don't want that spring hitting you in the eye. I'm not getting any younger. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, if you have any questions, just you know, message me on social media, wherever. You can find me on Facebook, Lawn Masters, or Instagram, Lawn Master Pro. Um, on here, message me. I'll try to get back with you ASAP. But uh, tell me, what is something that y'all see that I could have done better? Uh, this isn't my forte. This isn't my best suit. I, I'll say that to be. I'll be straight up with you. I'm not a parts build it kind of guy, Bob the Builder. So, I mean, like I said, my neighbor, he helped me kind of get that idea. Another guy at work kind of came up with this, and I looked some stuff up, and I came across this idea. So, kind of snowballing left and right. This was kind of a pain to get in up under there, a couple wrenches. And make sure you get all threads. I will say that because you run out of space, you got that much space that's and your your stuff's moving around here and you can't lock it down you're going to need a tap and die kind of thread kit kind of deal and you're gonna 
you're going to get mad probably. <laughs> you're going to say a few things you don't need to say or want to say. And yeah, everyone's going to love you, right? <laughs> so that's pretty much it, man. Like I say, not to sound like I'm kicking a dead horse. I hope uh, someone finds some value in it. I hope that it can help someone. And yeah, man, because nobody needs to be lifting 275 pounds. And you know, like I know, if you do this trade, if you're cutting lawns and you're doing landscaping, you don't want to lift that, let's see, 15, 16 times a day solo. Um, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Stay tuned. Hit that thumbs up. Mm -hmm.